Psychology Shark presents, Do you often wake between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m.? Here is what it means. For thousands of years, humans have developed a strong connection to sunlight that has evolved over thousands of years. In the past, before we had electricity, we were limited by the natural light of the day, and our sleep patterns followed suit. However, with the invention of electricity and technology, we can now stay active after the sun sets, which can negatively impact our health. Today, many people can easily fall asleep, but often find themselves waking up in the middle of the night at the same time. This can be really frustrating, especially if you struggle to go back to sleep, leaving you tired the next day. In Chinese medicine, it is believed that every two hours, the body's energy, known as qi, is most active in a specific organ and its functions. Chinese medicine sees the body, mind, and emotions as interconnected. If there is an imbalance in the physical body, it is linked to one's emotional state. Waking up at the same time, every night, might be your body's way of communicating something important. So, let's figure out what that message is. Here's a list of the organs and emotions linked to different times during the night. Number 1. Waking up between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m., or soon after you fall asleep. This is the time when your body is doing important stuff like adjusting its balance and replenishing enzymes. It's best to be asleep during this period to save energy for the next day. If you find yourself waking up between 9 and 11, it could mean your body is stressed and in fight or flight mode, making anxious thoughts louder. This is also when your body sends energy to boost your immune system, so if you're sick, symptoms may be stronger now. Finish important tasks before bed. Keep a notepad nearby to jot down thoughts, so you can tackle them in the morning. Don't eat a big meal before sleep, let your body focus on balancing and regulating itself. Consider meditation, or a calming bedtime routine, to relax your mind. Getting a good night's sleep, helps your body recharge and stay healthy. During the 9 to 11 windows, your body is busy maintaining balance and strengthening the immune system. If you wake up during this time, it could signal stress and anxiety, affecting your overall well-being. By taking care of tasks beforehand and adopting relaxing habits, you support your body in its nightly maintenance routine. Number 2. Waking up between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. To wake up feeling refreshed, it's important to go to bed early. The gallbladder is most active during this time, and if you wake up between 11 and 1, it could be a sign of gallbladder issues. This organ breaks down fats in your body, so waking up at this time might suggest a need to adjust your fat intake, either by reducing it or choosing healthier fats. Emotionally, waking up during these hours may indicate deep-seated feelings of bitterness, resentment, or judgment. Taking time during the day to reflect on your relationships with others and you can be beneficial. This self-reflection helps release negativity that might be blocking your energy. Consider incorporating positive habits into your routine, like mindfulness or journaling, to promote emotional well-being. Additionally, maintain a consistent sleep schedule by creating a relaxing bedtime routine. Avoid heavy meals close to bedtime and opt for light snacks if you're hungry. Stay hydrated throughout the day but limit your intake close to bedtime to prevent disruptions during the night. Number 3. Waking up between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. If you find yourself waking up often between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., it might be a sign that your liver is struggling to do its job. Instead of getting the rest it needs to rejuvenate, the liver may be overloaded with other tasks, causing pain during these early morning hours. In our busy world, many people have too much energy stored in their livers. Our fast-paced lifestyle, exposure to pollutants, and negative emotions like stress and anger all take a toll on the liver. If you experience muscle cramps or injuries, 
it could be a sign that your liver's energy is out of balance. The liver also plays a role in regulating bodily functions, so issues like PMS, mood swings, or irregular bowel habits may indicate a liver problem. Your liver even affects your eyesight. If you spend long hours staring at a computer screen, it can weaken your liver. Excessive alcohol consumption, a diet high in fatty foods, and overuse of prescription drugs can further hinder the liver's function. To support your liver, consider reducing your intake of alcohol, greasy foods, sugar, and caffeinated drinks. A detox might also help eliminate toxins that could be affecting your liver's performance. On an emotional level, waking up during this time frame may be linked to deeper feelings of anger, resentment, or frustration. Take some time to reflect on what might be bothering you and identify sources of negative energy in your life. If possible, try to remove these negative elements to improve your overall well-being. Number 4 waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. suggests that it's a good idea to pay attention to your lungs, specifically your breathing. During this time, your lungs are working the hardest, and any disturbance in your sleep might indicate an obstruction preventing you from taking deep, rejuvenating breaths. This disruption is likely tied to emotions signaling difficulty in relaxing and accepting aspects of life beyond your control. However, a waking period during these early morning hours could be linked to grief, often associated with a significant loss. Regardless of the cause, the key is to focus on deep breathing exercises and practice acceptance to alleviate anxiety stemming from uncontrollable circumstances. To address this, Consider incorporating mindfulness techniques into your bedtime routine. Engage in activities that promote relaxation, such as reading a calming book or practicing gentle yoga. Creating a soothing environment in your bedroom with dim lighting and comfortable bedding can also contribute to a more restful sleep. Number 5. Waking up between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. The early morning is a special time for your body, especially your colon. It's when your colon is most active and ready to get rid of waste effortlessly. So, waking up early is a great idea. It's not just good for starting your day, but also for exercising. Moving your body in the morning helps activate your chi, which is important for overall well-being. If you notice any issues like digestive problems, constipation, or diarrhea during this time, it might be a sign that your colon needs attention. Staying hydrated throughout the day is crucial for a healthy colon. Emotionally, your colon is connected to your ability to let go. If you find yourself holding on to things, whether they are issues, people, or situations, it might affect your colon health. Resolving any psychological issues related to holding on or letting go can contribute to a healthier colon. Try to have faith in things you can't change and focus on what you can do for your happiness and success. While many of us are night owls and enjoy staying up late, Chinese medicine suggests that it's not just about how much sleep you get, but when you get it. Going to bed before 10.30 p.m. is advised so that you are asleep by 11 p.m. This is when the gallbladder and liver start regulating qi, processing emotions, balancing hormones, and detoxifying the body. According to Chinese medicine, the time between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. is crucial for our health, especially as we get older. This aligns with modern science, which tells us that the first third of the night is when we experience the deepest and most restorative sleep. During these hours, our body reduces stress hormones, like cortisol, and increases activity in the parasympathetic nervous system, allowing us to truly rest and move away from the stress responses we have during the day. This deep sleep stage is linked to memory and learning, and lacking in it can result in waking up tired and decreased alertness during the day. Between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m., our bodies release human growth hormone, 
essential for repairing daily injuries and maintaining overall health. Each hour of sleep during this period is crucial for this process. The Chinese medicine body clock provides valuable insights into our body's signals, but it's also essential to trust our intuition to understand if there might be another message our body is trying to convey. We're curious to hear about your experiences. Do you often wake up at the same time at night? If yes, what time is it? How do you manage to go back to sleep? or do you stay awake? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this information helpful, give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends to help us continue making such content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and click on the notification bell. Check out our other videos too. Thank you for watching and sharing your experiences.